In this video, I'm going to show you how you can track uh, lap times in Excel. I was um, asked by someone the other day, and he had um, a running team, and he had um, a track that six, six laps around would equal a mile, and he needed to find something to track individual lap times um, each time and then have the, co the total for the mile that was, uh, that was run and how long it took. And so what I did is I came up with this one. And so he he had um, uh, bars or, or codes for to scan this, but I'm just going to put in uh, put in numbers. And so I'm going to click here, and this is where my cell is always located. And I go nine nine nine, and that's put in my initial time. Now. Um, I'm going to have to wait a few seconds so that you don't have a lap time of being zero seconds. So now let me chat a little bit more. And so let's put 999 in again. And press enter. And there you find that this guy can do a lap in 19 seconds. Now, the other thing that is happening here is that you're getting individual lap times and um, the total lap is being calculated for you. So let's put in 999 one more time. And so um, that lap was 22 seconds, but if you scroll down to the end, you can see that uh, 999 has total time for running this part of the, of, of the mile is 41 seconds. And so let me show you how I did this. First of all, there is code that is in, put on the sheet itself. So if you right click the sheet and go view code, you can see that it's called uh, private sub worksheet by value change. So if there's something changed here, um, if not intersect target A2, it's kind of a double negative. A2 is nothing, then call lapse and that's my application. And then application will enable events equals true and then end if, okay. So now let's go to my module one. And so the program that it's calling is laps. Now um, I defined barcode as a string range, uh, total is a double date, start die time and end time is date, and row number and C is long. So um, what I'm doing is I'm saying the barcode is active sheet cells two one and then this, this is uh, checking to see if there's something in this barcode. So if the, ch if the values changes and it becomes nothing, then it's not going to run. So if the barcode is not empty, then set range, it's going to look down A column. So A4 to A150, and it's going to look for the barcode. Now, if it doesn't find the barcode, it's, gonna, um, it's going to um, put one in, and it's going to put in the time. So that's the starting time for this person running. Now, so if they do find um, the, the barcode, then the, the range that it finds it on, the row number is the, is the is row number is the range row from where they found it. Um, active sheet range row, uh, row number two and row number 13. So it's looking for the next empty spot. So it's looking for the spot where it can put in the time. And um, then um, when it finds it, it's going to put in a date and, date and time. And active cell number four, but it's, it's month, day, year, then hours, minutes, seconds, and it's a.m., p.m. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to offset one and select. Now, C is the active cell column. Now, if I've done a case select here, and I'm doing, if the case is four, now, what I'm doing, so if it's if it's four here, we're trying to figure out the time here. So then if it's if it's four, which is which is D, um, then you're gonna uh, the start time is offset two. And if it's um, anything above four, which is six, eight, 10, 12, 14, then um, it's gonna offset three because it has to go over the previous lap time. Okay, so now what it's done 
is it's figuring out the start time and the end time. And then uh, what it's doing is the total is equal to uh, time in minus time start. And then uh, we do a couple of steps to get the formatting. And then we say um, active cell number format is hours, minutes, and second. And then active cell value equals total. And now what it's done is it's going to back to the uh, back to the cell here, the uh, two one, and so that you can um, you can run the next person that's running on the track. So I will of course include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.